Good morning, happy Monday. Today is the 9th of October. It is Vlogtober day nine. I am currently on my way to Barry's boot camp, and today I'm really not sure how I'm gonna do it because I did it over the weekend and I went in really hard. I actually really surprised myself. I did something, they gave us a challenge to do, like a pyramid challenge, and I finished it, but because I was doing double floor, which means I wasn't doing the running part, I was just doing the floor bit, like, twice. I had to do it again, and I finished it a second time, so I am definitely uh, working hard, but because of that, I cannot really feel my legs like this really really painful and today I've got to run and I don't even I'm having trouble walking so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah we haven't really got much planned for today it's another sewing day I'm gonna try and do some um film a tutorial and I've got to get a supplies for the next Halloween tutorial and that is it so let's go Hey guys, so I just got back from Barry's and I thought I would show you the finished product of what I made last night. This is the tweaked version. There is the split. Oop, there is the other split. So you're like, and yeah, so they're much more flowy and longer. And it's got like a real cool, even though they're wide leg, they've got like a really nice slimming effect because of the flowiness. And I, uh, yeah, really, really nice. These are a winner, and I will probably be wearing these in a week in another country. See if you can spot them in one of my vlogs. But uh, yeah, so I like it enough, and it was easy enough to make that I think I might do a tutorial. So what do you think? If you think you want a tutorial how to make your own uh, swishy wrap pants like these and they are definitely wrap pants because here's the tie at the front if I untie this the back just falls away you see my butt and uh, yeah and the same with the front so what do you think like if you like it let me know I can do a tutorial for you and have it up in like a couple days so let me know what you think and I will make another pair I will film it for you and you guys can go and make your own at home I'll show you what it looks like in the other version when you kind of have it as a jumpsuit because it looks super cute. Jumpsuit, Hold on a second. You tie this bit here. Cut my head off, I know, but you only need to see what the jumpsuit looks like. So you kind of have it like that. You flip the other bit through your legs. Where is it? So you flip the other bit through your legs. You tie. You bring the ties around, but before you do that, you just flip the side bits, tuck them into the back, like that. And you can tie this in the front, like a bow or a tie or whatever. And it kind of tightens it up. And then you've got this like really cool little backless jumpsuit. And I'll show you what the rest of it looks like like full length, that's what it looks like. Which is also not bad at all. You can wear some heels, you can go out on a night out, and it's like super backless. So if you do wanna wear it like this, I would suggest making the crutch just a little bit lower, cause when you pull it up here, you're gonna get a bit of a uh, hee hee hee. So uh, yeah, but other than that, looks pretty cool and it actually looks really cute in this print so I'm really happy with it so if you want one if you want to know how to make one let me know because I'm gonna be making another anyway so okay so I am gathering my tools for the next Halloween DIY this time is not gonna be a scary one um, but it might be something you have seen possibly recently. Can you guess what it is? I'm not gonna tell you until it comes out. This is what I need. I need flowers, some gold spray paint, wooden skewers, headband, some lacy material. Can you guess what I'm gonna be? 
comment in the comments below if you do. Okay, so I am in Harvey Nichols right now, um, in the Fenty Beauty section, getting myself color match so that I can pick up one of the Pro Filter foundations, and I'm very excited. So I will see you after, because I don't think I can film the whole thing uh, to show you my color and what I picked up. Okay, so this is my Fenty base, and it surprisingly looks just like my skin. Sorry if I keep looking up at the screen because I'm still like, I'm not sure. Like, uh, well, apparently my number is 400, uh, and I think that is a warm tone. And it basically looks like I'm wearing no makeup at all, which I guess is what you want. It's like my skin, but without all the like little dark spots. So I'm kind of happy with that. But um, I'm gonna like wear it for a week and see how I really feel about it before I go back to get all like the concealer and all that stuff. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go do. Um, so I'm still in Knightsbridge. I need to get back home because I've got a bunch of sewing to do. So today we're gonna be doing some sewing and I bought a few things. I managed to actually find some stuff that fit me today. So that's good. So uh, let's get home, it's about to rain. So let's just go home. So I am back from Knightsbridge and I thought I would really quickly just show you what I picked up. I spent a little bit of time in Zara and I picked up a few things which uh, just like things that I need. It's getting to winter now and when I moved, I actually got rid of like a lot of clothes to make room in my wardrobe for new things. But then I realized I actually just got rid of all my old jumpers because I had some jumpers that I'd had forever and I finally got rid of them. And then I was like, oh, it's getting kind of cold now. So need a few tops and stuff. So. First things first, I'll show you my uh, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Um, so I've taken it off now because I usually take my makeup off when I get home and you guys have seen me without my makeup for like half my vlog so you know, whatever. Um, but first impressions, pretty good. I like that it is basically the exact same tone like i i waited for it to oxidize and it did but like it was still just like barely noticeable matched my neck matched everything so that's really good so i imagine in the future you'll see me wearing this um the lady who did my makeup kind of put it on a bit light i like a good full coverage because i do have like dark spots on my face which i do not like to um, see but that's also good to know because like when I'm in hot countries when I don't really want to be wearing a ton of makeup but I still want that nice soft uh, soft fade on my face uh, I know that I can just put the one layer on and it will work so very happy with that and quite cheap it's like 26 pounds which is really affordable for a foundation especially one that is pretty much almost my skin tone this is the closest I've got. Normally I would wear MAC and oh, on my MAC NC50 and this is number 400 and this is a better match than that is so very happy with this. So while I was in there I went to Urban Decay and I picked up this all nighter um, makeup setter. My friend was like you have to try this it's so good it just keeps that makeup on all day. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I'm not really sure if it works or not yet but I will let you know next time I put my makeup on see how that lasts throughout the day. Now let's get to the good stuff. In Zara, let's see, I picked up one. Oh, I only picked up three items and they're all tops, but I figured that I should just, you know, judge my wardrobe a bit. First one was this like mustard little t-shirt thing. It's like stretchy and it's got little ruffles on the shoulders and it was really cheap. It's like 12 pounds, 12 pounds and it fits really, really well. And um, I just needed something different to like the normal t-shirts and stuff that I have. Um, I really still enjoy ruffles. Ruffles are still a thing. So I figured I'd get that. And while I was in the ruffle department, I also saw this long sleeved, it kind of looks like a sweatshirt, but it's quite thin. And it's got like these really long sleeves with like a, a ruffle edge, which I really, really like. Um, so I picked that up as well and that was 15 pounds. So that was cute. And then going along with the red, because red is the color of the season right now. And I literally do not have any red in my uh, 
in my wardrobe. I have like one plaid shirt, that's it. I found this jumper, um, which is like an oversized jumper with a little tie back at the back and it is so soft guys like like it's really really soft so I was it was mostly the softness that got me because I tend not to buy jumpers like from high street stores because it's like really like scratchy polyester but this is so soft and like squishy that I was like okay then I'll make an exception so um I picked that up and that was how much was that uh, 29 pounds so uh, I'm happy with that it was warm when I tried it on and uh, yeah I can still be a little bit on trend while I'm wearing my normal stuff so that's pretty much what I did when I was uh, after I got my uh, stuff from Knightsbridge and uh, now I'm gonna be boring and do some more editing. You wouldn't believe the stuff that I have to edit is not just for YouTube. There are other things that I'm, other projects that I've got going on. So, um, so that's why I do spend like a lot of time editing. So it's been difficult to uh, make videos every day because like if I show you just me sat at a computer, you guys are gonna be like, well, this is boring. So uh, yeah, we'll keep them short and sweet. I'll show you one little thing of that, what I'm doing each day. And uh, yeah, if it's too small, then I'll just bunch up the days into like three or four days at a time. So I think that's what I'm probably gonna do for this video. Anyway, so in that case, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.